right, folks, Texan the Black Pants Legion here. We're going to play some Goon Station. What do I want to be? Let's see. Looks like there are no engineers. <laughs> Looks like I have to fix that. Oh, it's Cogmap 1. This should be fun. This should be fun. All right. First of all, engineering for dummies. Yeah, don't need that. This is my backpack. You know, just gonna go do my thing. Go be my engine mans. Do my normal. A little bit of that. Now, this is before noon on a Saturday. And before moon on... Moon? Yeah, before moon. Well, I guess it would be before moon. Before the moon. The moon has not come out yet. And, uh... Since it is before moon, I am, uh... Anticipating a very low population round. All the kids are on the high crazy zany servers, uh, murder boning. And uh, the adults who have their uh, day off from work are on stuff like this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. And I'm going to put these in there. And I'm going to put that in there. And, uh, I'm gonna start a hell burn while no one's watching. I'm not particularly fast on hell burns. Oh, God. Hey, I'm running this here. Worry not. Engine up in five minutes. More or less. Need assistance? No oh, thanks. I got this. It's all good. Our cuts? Well, in a minute. I'll page you when I need you. Alright. Now I have been looking at uh Unity Station. I have I have been looking at Unity Station. Um, Unity Station right now is is not really there, uh, at least in terms of, uh, what the, it can't hold all these things, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Can I hold the crowbar? What have they done to my utility belt? It needs to hold all the things, it's ridiculous. I'll just put this in my pocket. What the fuck? That makes me mad. Alright. Well, anyways. Anyways. Um. I've looked at Unity Station. Not a lot of, uh. Not a lot to do there yet. Not a lot to do there yet. I'm not saying it's not ever gonna get there. I know a lot of people made videos on it where they just fly shuttles into stuff. And, uh, you know, it's like someone playing, uh, like, GTA RP and just running someone over with cars and calling that, uh, content. There's not enough there yet for me to have fun the way I want to have fun. But I, I think it is very, very promising. Very, very promising. I think, I think it will be a very good game in time, but they gotta stress test it and they gotta add, uh, a lot more content. That is the... That is the magic word there. Content. Has to add more content. It has to have the ability to do a lot of crazy, freaky things that, you know, make Space Station 13 great. Gotta be able to... Vote for a map, you piss drinkers. Do all the things that Spaceman should be able to do. And that's just kind of part of it. Right now, it's got a lot of the core pieces of it, you know. And the netcode looks pretty good. I mean, in terms of uh, people being able to run around and uh, do all sorts of fun, crazy stuff. I mean, being able to fly ships into the station, I'm not trying to dismiss that for the achievement that it is. It is pretty fucking impressive that it can take a collision like that 
and not bog the whole server down. It's really fucking cool, to be honest. I also love the atmospheric effects where someone, you know, knocks a hole in a window and, I mean, shit moves quick. It's not like the infamous TG space wind where someone knocks a hole in the floor and you have one square in a room that has no oxygen and the rest of the room is fine. Which I always thought was just kind of crap. Not a fan of space wind. I, I more like the, uh, movie style explosive decompression. I always thought that was cooler. Now remember, you gotta put your monkey in there. He helps. He helps. Alright. I'm just gonna let this fill with gas for a minute as I get the RCD out and start cutting holes in the floor. Oh yeah. Need to make sure this is on. There we go. Should start spinning here in a minute. Okay, that's on. Uh huh. Alright. She'll start spinning in a minute. Double checking my pumps here. Alright, combustion chamber pump. That's the next one I gotta check. Gotta make sure everything's good. Alright, we're gonna start really low pressure here. Alright. Alrighty. We're gonna lean this out a little bit. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that as a max. So yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to shit on the uh I'm not trying to shit on their achievements. It, it, it is pretty fucking awesome. They've managed to get it to work, but it needs a lot more. And I do mean a lot more for me to want to play it. It's It's gotta... It's really, really gotta have a little more content. Other than just, like, Shuttle Suicide Boogaloo. Did I forget to... Yeah, I forgot to connect it. That's my stupid... That is a my stupid. I'm still waking up. Couldn't sleep last night. So, uh... Took a, uh, sleeping pill. Still kind of shaking them cobwebs. Alright, just making sure everything's connected. Good, good. Is the fire on? Yeah, okay, there we go. And the monkey burns, you know, as per the normal. There we go. Okay, see the slow is spinning. Uh-huh. Good, good, good. And then I connect this guy here. What's going on? There we go. Oh yeah, the fire. The fire. Yeah. So as far as it goes, I I would like to see more than just shuttle apocalypse. I would like to be able to see all the systems functioning. From cargo to uh well. From cargo to botany to chemistry. Because, I mean, if it went well enough and it started to get enough content, I know there's enough coders in the Legion that would love to make our own server. We've talked about a BPL server for a while. Um, there are a few things that have kept us from doing it, namely finding a code base we liked and being able to protect our coders' work as well. Because uh, Space Station 13 has a long history of uh, people yar other people's code base. Um, just because they want it or just because they want to shit on them. And uh, I feel that's kind of a shitty thing. If, you know, your coder doesn't want to share their code, they shouldn't have to. It is a coder not entitled to the sweat of his brow? I, I think so. But that's my opinion. I'm not a coder. I just think if somebody wants to make something and they don't have to share it, they shouldn't have to. Nobody should force them. Unless the license calls for it, then that's a legal requirement. But that's a whole other subject. 
I personally find that uh, Unity Station is really, really fucking promising. And I, I think that's going to be really cool. Um, I, th I think it's going to do really well. I think it's going to... It's going to really kind of bring in a new era. Now, some of you in the Space Station 13 community are, of course, going to wonder about stuff like SS3D, which looks really cool. But um, the original guy, the original guy who did that just kind of disappeared. I think his name was Beep. He just disappeared. He had enough or whatever. He just was like, not going to do this or... Maybe he got sick or, you know, real life projects, not sure. But uh, he'd, he'd had completely enough and I think it just disappeared. And that happens, you know, with projects. He was making something really cool. So SS3D was really promising for a while. And then, you know, oh yeah, that's about right. All right, uh, not the heat shield. The monkey is a wick. All right, that's open, and then uh, heat shield down. All right, good. Good. But yeah, there's there's a lot of promise out there. I, I really think Unity Station has a good shot right now. Um, what was funny is I saw that so they were trying to get some streamers to play it, you know, to bring more attention to it, and... Uh, it was, it was really funny because I was watching this guy and he played it for all of like 10 minutes and he was just randomly clicking around and someone asked him, uh, bro, do you even play Space Station 13? The guy said, of course, I've played this a lot. I just, this is all new. And uh, he he didn't even understand the basic controls. Then he uh, uninstalled it and went to go play something else and told everyone I crashed. <laughs> I was like, oh man. I remember those days. That's why I'm laughing. I'm not. I'm not laughing. Going, yeah. That's what normies get. Get wrecked. That's my game. I'm. I'm just laughing because I remember those days. I remember those days of first playing Space Station 13, where, you know, you, you, you first start clicking around, trying to figure out, you know, your ass from a hole in the ground, and, you, you know, you end up like stabbing yourself in the face with a cigarette trying to smoke it, and, it's uh. I remember those days. There's going to be a lot of people who go through those. So, you know, if you're ever first trying out Space Station 13, remember, not all code bases are the same. And uh, best of luck. What's cool about Goon is I can go in here and go into Interface. So I can be like, oh man, I want to use TG style controls with the TG style HUD. I can do that. Easy peasy, no problem. So, if you are more a TG guy, you can play Goon very easily. If you like TG style controls, you can play Goon very easily. It's very simple. Oh man. Now I gotta pry that bitch open. Stupid doors that fall to prevent me from going out into space. Looks like my RCDs are empty. So now it's in the hands of Space Jesus. Radio station playing happy music. Alright. Nice slow power rise. That's what I'm looking for. Nothing too extreme. Just gonna try to slowly throttle her up. Alright. Stop smoking near fire alarms. says the AI. My favorite episode of Space Station 13, I've heard this, or I've said this probably a hundred times, but it's a uh, Yorp Yorp Yorp's uh, Danger Danger High Voltage. I really wish he'd come back. 
He was a great spaceman. He was very chill. He did whatever he wanted. He was not an asshole to other players. Very educational, very laid back. If you want to see what old Goon Station looked like, that's that's uh, that's your boy. Make sure you properly vented area because if not, that Hellburn will quickly become a hazard. It's vented and cut. Worry not, friendo computero. Startup procedure in the garbage. Alright, we're about to reach uh, one megawatt. I also like Plump Helmet Punk for a lot of his older uh, a lot of his older spaceman stuff. Leading scientists have researched discount dance noodle soups. Have discovered that discount dance noodle soup is actually Picture of vomit, piss, and shit. Is this really the sort of thing you fall to fucking drink? I didn't think so, man. Drink your own soda. We only have piss in it. Piss! That's great. I want to see if they'd take voices to do radio spots. Sell people like, um, vacation packages to Cardonia. You too can ride in a box. Cargo land. Oh man. There we go. Everything's hunky dory. Everything should be fine. I'm going to try to keep pressure as low as I can, or as long as I can. That's what you gotta do. It's just low. I don't understand why I can't hold the welding tool. Hmm. Hey there. Hey, Chief. We are. Oh, yeah. Alright. We are out of RCD juice. If you could help scare some. Uh, yeah. Scare some up. That'd be great. If not. Stand by for welds. Yeah. Uh. Mining, are you alive? That's a good question. I mean, I know we can make more, but I never count on mining, because let's be honest. If anyone could find death, it's mining. what they do, man. I thought that was damage. It was just a seam. Alright, well. This Hellburn will pretty much run itself right now. See, the engine's making a happy noise. Two megawatts. Alright. All right, let's turn this on. Let's charge it at one megawatt for now. Because let me check my remote power doodad. They seem like the kind of miners that love to hoard ore. Well, that's not nice. All right, power temperature inlet. Nice. Cool. All right, look. Get into engineering with any RCD you can, and wait. The oh man, wait. The robot is here. Uh, all right, robot. 
Make floor cuts anywhere you can. Go nuts. Mm. Also, fix any, any burst pipes. Any. Order confirmed, says the robot. All right. All right, we're at five megawatts and rising. Five megawatts and rising. I'm gonna continue to throttle up the PTL. I want it to charge up and then start sending stuff out. AI is reminding people about the preciousness of Uquil. Seven megawatts, seven point five megawatts. Nice. It's not a good sound. All right. Almost at ten megawatts. Let's go ahead and throttle this up a little bit. Sec to sec lobby, the clown set up some sort of evil Kim mix. This is Janitor Joe. Oh my god, says Janitor Joe. Twelve megawatts. Oh, mechanic says infinite mats. Give me more RCD juice. That's what daddy wants. Man, this thing's cooking now. It's going to be on the lookout for burst pipes, which are going to start happening. You can only fix them to a point. All right. Seven. Seven megawatts. Going in, at least. Oh, we're about to hit 20. Nice. All right, here we go. We're going to set this at 10 and let it charge up. Individualism is a drain on robot society. Nice. Very nice. All right, I'm about to put that PTL up. I might call the uh, I might call that radio station. Give them shit. Uh. Attention, crew. PTL laser is going up shortly. Avoid walking into the beam. All right. Fuck it. There we go. By that he means now. Says the AI. Yeah. That was cool. I didn't do that. Not my fault. It's a lot of explosions. What was that? Wow. That was pretty awesome. That was a was that a plasma howitzer? Five or six explosions? A Borg and a miner, oh. A Borg and a miner went mining in an Arabite asteroid. One of them stupidly hit a rock. I guess the miners are dead. 
Oh, thank God that was mining. I love that that's the outlook here. Oh, thank God it was just mining. They both got deleted. Yeah, okay, we're at 40 megawatts and climbing, so let's put our input at 25 and our output at 20. Trying to stay throttled ahead of our power curve here. That's, uh, that's where the, the good stuff is. That's where that good stuff is. We got a laser going out. Fifty-four megawatts. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh. It's a stupid toy sword is what it is. Alright. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Fifty-nine. Sixty. Sixty-one. Excellent. Let's call that radio station. Ah. Robot, get on broken pipe patrol. We need all our juices intact in the engine. Now, time to call that radio station. Uh, yeah. I know there's a battle cruiser there. Radio Ape, are you hearing me? I'm hoping he picks up. There's been a murder, it's sag. I hope so. No, nope, no one's picking up. I mean, he picked up but didn't say anything. 104 megawatts, alright. We're on the business now. We're on that business. Mining blew themselves up, which, as we know, happens. just gonna charge it up and then I'm gonna put my output at 75 megawatts nice hundred and thirty two hundred and forty nice Engines tearing stuff up. Huh? I have the teleport hiccups. Oh, that's terrible. Hey, guy. Robot guy. Fix them pipes, bro. I want to keep that pressure as high as long as possible. Seventy-nine, one eighty-three, one eighty-six. Pipes are being fixed, Meat Lord. Well, one ninety-four. Now we're starting to get crazy. Like it's really jumping. Two hundred. Yeah, as long as we can keep them. I mean, to a, to a certain point. To a certain point, you need to keep those pipes intact, and then after it, it doesn't fucking matter. You shouldn't really sweat it, but this is more icing on the cake sort of situation. There's somebody messing, messing around in the pathology lab. Two 
244. AI is just tattling on them. They start doing shit. This is the name. No one likes you, AI. You tattletale. You tattletale of an AI. Out there calling people out on shit. No one cares for it. You got a critter infestation? As long as it isn't Discordia, this isn't a problem. Oh, yeah. 300 and climbing. This is a hell burn. This is a hell burn. Hell burn. Hell burn. All right. Three seventy six, three eighty four, three ninety one, three ninety nine, four hundred. Nice. Four hundred. Three fifty. Oh man, we are really moving. This has potential for uh, some fun. I'm staying on this PTL because I just want to keep getting it where it needs to be. And it's important. Now in a high pop round, you usually see body parts all over this area because people just walk into it. I remember one time, uh, right after one of the tides, I I had this thing going, and some guy's like, "What is this long beam?" And I was like, "It's a limbo thing. If you get under it, you get a level up." And the guy's like, "Oh, cool!" And he just exploded, and then he was like screaming horrible shit in dead chat. I, I mean, just every racial epithet under the sun. You know, he was like, he was like "That engineer's a cuck." I mean, he was. It was, it was obviously like some fourteen-year-old kid in his mom's basement who was. Used to browsing B and thanks, uh, you know, he's a hard dude, so he's like threatening people and all sorts of stuff, and I think they booted him pretty quickly. I love messing with people in Space Station 13 because I, in turn, was messed with when I was new. And that's how you learn, you know, someone's like, hey, here's an oxygen mask, and you go, thanks, and then you breathe it in, and it's fire, you know, <laughs> so, just like a cartoon, you, you have fun with it, and you have to learn to have fun with it. But uh, when you start taking, like, every time you get your ass kicked personally, you can't do that. Unless it's obviously malicious. I had that happen quite a bit on TG, where uh, every round, the, like, same botanist would break into Kim and steal the Kim dispenser and beat you up. And if you beat them up, they'd A-help it. Uh, if you didn't give them what they wanted, they A-helped it. Uh, so you'd have admins breathing down your neck. And it's just because that's the way they wanted to play. And it worked about nine times out of ten in their favor. So I remember my first thing I would do as a chemist was uh, make a go-away spray that contained all sorts of chemicals that would give people brain damage and knock them out. And so they'd, you know, run up and try to do that. I'd spray them twice, then they'd be running around the hallways. And, uh, you know, they, they're so brain damaged they can't pick things up. And uh, they're screaming. And uh, I found out that, you know, that's proper escalation protocol. Don't fight them, just give them brain damage. And so what was funny is uh, they'd go get cloned because they'd kill themselves because they were so brain damaged they couldn't do anything. So they'd kill themselves so they'd get cloned. So I'd go fuck with their clone while I was being cloned. You know, like take it out early and stuff. And uh, they'd be like, why you do this? And I'm like, you, why you fuck with me? You fuck with me, I fuck back. There's certain people you don't fuck with and among them are people in lab coats. I mean, I'm just saying. Don't fuck with someone in a lab coat. Someone in a garbage uniform, someone's sanitary services, you know, there's an even chance of fucking with that guy and getting away with it. But someone in a lab coat? You're risking, you know, drawing the ire of someone with a PhD. Somebody who's gonna wreck your shit. Don't do that. That's dumb. 
All right, let's uh, put this on one gigawatts and output at one gigawatts. So we are at gigawatts. All right. I mean, this this should make more money than we know what to do with. Really. Gigawatts. It's a lot of power. Because I think the Chernobyl, like, RBMKs are rated for something like 3,000 megawatts or something. It's, it's not... It's it's a lot, but uh, we've heard, like, many times that now. And that's going to be petawatts and then terawatts and then yottawatts and exawatts and zettawatts and... Probably got all those numbers wrong. It's okay. Uh, but our power is pretty much fine. I mean, power is to the exponent. How is power? Power is great. We have more than enough power forever. We have infinite power. Now begins the power wars. Now begins the reaping. I mean, uh, everything's fine. Hi, how is it? <laughs> Engineer mutters to himself, now begins the reaping. Yeah. War always involves powers. I'm gonna go take a nap in the burn chamber if you don't mind. Go ahead. Have fun. Okay. Their skin melted off. Wow. Cool. That's pretty metal. Clearly non-human. Yeah, I guess. Uh-oh. Got stuck in zero G. I guess I gotta throw this. Uh-oh. This is a problem. This is a big problem, Rooney. Gotta throw tools to get inertia to move around. That sucks. All right. Yeah, they exploded out of their human suit. Which, you know, that happens. All right, let's see what we're at. 3.312. I think we're going to need more hot in the hot loop, more fuel. So let's take one of these. Telesci is on fire. Oh, well, that happens in telescience, you know. They're playing with powers they don't understand. That's what happens. You can't just fucking beam shit out into nowhere. All right. Should drag this, and uh, I'll just put this can right there over the body. No one needs to know what happened. It was voluntary. It was voluntary. We're just going to keep feeding fuel to this. All right. Station budget has run dry. Station budget has run dry? The PTL is on full, you bastards. Give us your paychecks. You greedy company. It's just like a mining strike. All right, we're gonna put more fuel in. Cause I'm just gonna feed this motherfucker. This is an electricity, it says. The generator makes a grumpy noise. Bro. 
Fix pipes if you can. We must maintain pressure. We must maintain it. All right, let's set it to five for input. I like seeing exponents. It means I'm doing well. It means I'm doing well. Good times. Huh. Has anyone seen my car? It says Crustered the Clown. And someone says, I think it got crushered. Why is the caption in the crematorium? More specifically, the crematorium pod. Well, perhaps the captain has died. Which may incinerate him. He's sleeping. If someone were to turn it on. I don't think this AI is friendly at all. I think he's I think he's just pretending. All right, here we go. Twenty gigawatts and rising. What's this guy doing? Stupid drone. Man, that guy didn't even try to fix them pipes. He just ran off. What a dick. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna yell at the radio station. I I want him to play more music. I need more delightful music here. Is it ringing? No? Hmm. Maybe something befell the man. Maybe something terrible. Alright, I mean, we're really cooking along on this. 32 gigawatts. I mean, it's going slow. It's going nice and slow. We got pipe breaks everywhere. Thirty-five, thirty-seven, or thirty-six, thirty-seven. This is an electricity. Yeah. Oh, he just went into a portal. Goodbye, robot. Cool. Got a rubber ducky. Cool. Let's put that there. Never mind the gore and stuff. That's just, you know, who cares? Oh, I slipped. How did I slip? I got, uh, magnetic shoes on. Mag boots. All right. Hey. Weld them pipes. I want my pressure up. Weld. Weldificate. Make the welds. Yes. That's what it's about. I'm welding me, boy, he says. Alright, I'm gonna do what I can. Um... All right, lifetime earnings. I mean, we're making money, money, money. Lots of money. All right, a 
81 gigawatts. 81 gigawatts and rising. Nice. All right, let's put the input at 75 and let's put the output at 50. Just gonna keep raising that PTL, getting that PTL money. Oh yeah. Ninety-eight. One hundred and three. One oh five. All right, nine, nine, nice, nice, nice. This is good. All right, so let's see. Let's set this at uh, one hundred for the input. Because, I mean, our Pete, our, our main uh, SMESs are charged out the ass. We could run this station for hours without a single drip of power. So we've done our job. Um, I mean, we've, we've really done our job here. All right, 138. Mm-hmm. 142. Mm-hmm. 145, mm-hmm. 150, let's set it at 150 and 100. Now it's starting to rattle up again. Just gotta keep feeding fuel to the monster. 160, 164. I'm gonna take this last burn can and dump it in if I can. I know Yorp 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 used to hand mix all this shit. I mean, he really did. He he was he did everything really well. He knew what he was doing. All right. 200, 221. Let's set this at 225 for the input. Because it's just about to pass it. Yeah, it already did. Let's set the output at 200. Yeah, there we go. Distress signal cleared by GPS 4239-NT13. Interesting. See, now we're in a vacuum. You can't hear anything. Because, like, I, I fart. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, so our power is going through the roof. And this is where it's going to start to get really, really tasty. Because we're at 300 gigawatts. And it's just going to get crazy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see about uh, getting some farts into this engine. Because I think that would be really impressive. And the pod bay is airtight. See? So, what we do... Power switch. Target pressure. This is science. See? Making that pressure go up. This is going to require some button pressing. Yeah, farts. So I've I've sucked about that much farts in. Let's go ahead and 
put it in the engine and see what amount of trace gas farts will do. All right. Nah, nah, nah. All right, let's do um, target pressure zero and then turn it on. And go. Oh, God. I think it just backfilled all the uh, fuel from the engine. The, oh, yeah, we're in terawatts. Whoa. Oh, whoa, the engine's shaking. Okay, maybe farts in the engine were not a good idea. It combusted it. So, uh, yeah, let's just set it at one terawatt. Uh, for input for the time being. All right, let's see. Yeah, she's rolling. Jumping by 100 gigawatts at a time. All right, let's put it out at 1 gigawatts. PTL is at 1. Not gigawatts, terawatts. The wow. All right, there we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 1.428 terawatts. This is going to be great. It should be pretty much a runaway engine now. I mean, stopping this is almost impossible unless I blow all the pipes out. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, bud. You did a good job. See if you can uh, weld any more just to try to spike the temp. But you know what? You did great. So high five. I have no hands. Well, that's fair. Let's flip then. Just do a flip. All right. Let's look. Oh, sorry about that. Had to cover my mouth. Don't want to spread no disease. What a nice thick piss beam, he says. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Yeah. It sure is. We ought to throw the clown into it. I mean, you know, that's what I like to do. just threw a wrench and it went right through it. Which means it didn't really collide with it. Went under it or over it. Uh-oh. We're about to do some science. Yep, there it goes. It got blocked for a second. Man, yeah. What? It's fine. It's an awesome beam of hate. Can't ask curious to just block the laser. Well, yeah. Despite being filled with explosive gas. Impressive. Five terawatts and rising. Nice. Let's uh, knock this up to five. Take like those fucking lasers that burn wood but not skin, but in reverse. Yeah. That's wild shit. I like it. Yeah. 
and the laser continues to burn. Man, is this laser made with cyan loom? Maybe. I mean, go outside and wave your hand in front of it. And let's see. Oh god. If he touches that, it's it's gonna blow up. Alright, we're at eight terawatts. Yeah. Eight terawatts and rising. Jumping by five hundred at a time. Oh yeah. Waves their hand in front of the laser beam. Look, I did it. Awesome. Let's test it with some sleeping people. There's a guy in the combustion area. And I think he's dead. And, uh, yeah. Go toss his body in there. From outside. Let's see what happens. I mean, d d experiments, right? I buried him at Hellburn. Ah. We need heat resist. It's true. It's true, we would. Alright, let's do... Alright, so we are at... What are we at? Yeah, 14 terawatts and rising. Godspeed, crew. Godspeed. I'm gonna find someone who's asleep. There's always one. Uh, let's go to arrivals and see if anyone's a little sleepy. And there's some ham. I'll have some of that. I want some of that. It's too big to lift. It's a lot of ham. Uh, hypo spray, Omnizine. I shoot myself full of Omnizine, I should be fine. Cool, an action figure. Yeah. Where was the explosion? I don't know, probably engineering. A lot of blood there. Is there a sleepy guy in here somewhere? No. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep walking. Just gonna keep walking. Refresh. I have 44 terawatts. Slowing down. Maybe it was the farts. Maybe it was the farts. Alright. Didn't see anybody asleep, so... Oh, fuck too. Plum fucked.
61 terawatts. Nice. Oh, well, this is still working, so... Let's just put this on to make the money go out. And uh, I'm going to go gamble because uh, the engineering budget's probably a bajillion dollars. And that's what I'm going to do. Onward we go. Onward we go. Right, let's use the ATM. Current van, uh huh, uh huh. Wow, oh, space box. Pretty nice. That's all my space bucks I got for uh, being a good spaceman. Or at least living, in theory. So, I, I mean, right now the Hellburn is set. I don't have to do a goddamn thing. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, Jesus, what was that? Oh god, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh random uh singular was spotted. Uh we got a problem. Look at that. That is not a singular, he says. Well, I mean, it destroyed the detective's office, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, spatial instability. Judging by the fact it collapsed in on itself. It was just walking around, minding my own business. And it ate the crusher. I mean, he's got some flappy arms. It's none of my business. All right, here we go. I should double check to make sure nobody's turned my shit off. It's over a 60 minute shift. And I'm kinda sad, I mean... I was hoping for a, at least a Penawan. But no, it's kind of a slow hell burn. A lot of broken pipes. But uh... Certainly getting up there. Certainly getting up there. Let's put it out at 300 and then, uh, 250. I mean, this should be easy. Just keep it going. This is an electricity. It's 437 terawatts. Give him a fucking clamp, gentlemen. Truly stellar work from our dear MD. Okay. Well, I mean, that happens. Sometimes the uh, MD has to be stupid. That's how they learn. That's how doctors learn to do things. That's why it's called medical practice. Practice makes perfect. All right, we're at 557, 573, 588. 
604. Now we got it. It's jumping by 20 terawatts at a time. 637. 655. 655. Excellent. Excellent. Now we are truly reaching massive power. Oh, 700. Christ. 749? Yeah, she's rolling. She's rolling. She's rolling. All right, let's put it at 750. 750 in. 750 in and uh, 700 out. I mean, this is terawatts, isn't it? Yeah. So this could be a record breaker for me. Because um, I think I got 50 petawatts was like my uh, high score, personal high score. I know there's people who've rolled it all the way over. And uh, yeah, we're at one petawatt. So let me let me get out my uh, calculations and try to explain how much a petawatt is. So orders of magnitude is what we're talking about, right? So, when you get into megawatts, when you get into megawatts, you know, everyone knows what megawatts are. You know, so you start getting to the power output of, a, like, an aircraft carrier. You know. You know, and standard power stations. And we've rolled past terawatts, and the high end of terawatts is, uh, you know, like the uh, amount of energy released by a hurricane. Okay. And uh, now we're getting to the point where it's like the heat flux amount for the Gulf Stream. We have a singularly stellar crew whose work efficiency and ethic is impeccable. Thus we are calling the shuttle. Well, that's nice. So yeah, we're getting into like the amount of heat flux transported by the Gulf Stream and, uh, you know... When you get into the high scale of uh, petawatts, um, you're talking about like the total power of Earth received from the sun, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, if we can get into zettawatts, you know, it's like the luminosity of like Wolf 359. If we can get into yottawatts, that's the uh, estimated power of the... Uh, Tsar Bomba hydrogen bomb. And uh, if we get into the high yottawatts, we're talking about uh, the total power output of a Type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale. Um, so, yeah. So, awesome. I doubt we'll get that high, because they're going to call the shuttle, and then it's going to leave... So let's see if I can break my record. Ah, oh, man. No. Nope. Uh, CE is still alive. Uh, I'm watching my engine like a baby. Yeah. Wow. Now, those of you who don't know the Kardashev scale... Carter Shift scale is like a civilization that can use all the power available on a planet. That's a type one. And then a type two is like a civilization that can use all the power of a star. And then a type three is like a civilization that can use, uh, you know, the entire energy of its host galaxy, which is pretty fucking cool. So, yeah. There's, there's a lot of interesting things. When you look at that, and that's where you start looking at this stuff like Dyson Swarms and all sorts of things. There's a lot to read into that with sci-fi. And then there's stuff like White's Law, you know, where it's like, uh, 
Oh shit, am I running out of O2? I may be. Hold on, I gotta switch to another tank. Oh shit. To grab a backup tank here. It's all flooded. All right. Yeah. Um, White's Law is something where I can remember correctly, and it's I it's I think it's about the evolution of culture in relation to. Um, in relation to the amount of power it produces, you know? So, it increased efficiency to where, like, you know, back in the day we used to just open-air burn fire to create warmth and cooking, and now we have ovens that are a lot more efficient. I'm not really great at astrophysics and physics in general, but I, I used to attend the lectures because I found them interesting. I, I'm, not, I'm not a super smart guy in that arena. That's why I watch people like Isaac Arthur and stuff. Good channel. Very good channel. Alright, let's do a thousand. And yeah, I'm just gonna do, do max PTL. It's uh, as best I can do right now. So we've gone off the scale that will take uh, inputs in. I mean, there's there's a lot of interesting things to say about the pursuit of power. I mean, actual just power from, you know, the use of the sun to grow crops to uh, the use of fire to cook food to the use of transmitting electricity to the use of, you know, transmitting it elsewhere, radio, et cetera, et cetera. And it's interesting to see how that's kind of been a cornerstone of our civilization. But then someone also pointed out uh, that our civilization has more or less spent the last 8,000 years uh, from finding fire in the wild to uh, the escape shuttle has now arrived. nuclear power uh, spending our entire our entire civilization has been around uh, figuring out ways to boil water which is pretty true you know our, K our ancestors would boil water and uh, we boil water now we just do different means. So some things are, are kind of constant, consistent, which is pretty funny. Pretty funny. But yeah, if anyone follows this uh, pattern, you can easily hellburn. Um, and I do mean easily hellburn. This is not that hard to hellburn at all. Um, is Beepski going to live? He's fine. Beepski's fine. So it looks like we're not going to hit our record, I don't think. But still, it's all right. It's all right. If you follow these steps, you should be able to hellburn, set up the engine very easily, and just go. It's not that hard. I know a lot of people uh, get used to the easiness of the TG engine, where you know you set it and forget it, and it's very easy. Um, but uh, the Goon engine requires a little bit more babying, to the point where I've played Space Station 13 for 12 years now, and I, I still am bad at the COG engine. Uh-oh. Radiation. Radiation is detected. I have 44 seconds to uh, reach a maintenance tunnel. That's not going to happen. Uh, in fact, I'm going to walk into this uh, plasma flow because I'm, I'm not going to get caught in the horrible radiation storm and become a mutant. Uh, I'm not going to do that at all. I'm going to die like a man. Oh, there's the clown car. I don't feel funny enough to use it. Well, that sucks. Well, I know where it ascended. Same. Oh shit! Oh, nice. 
Ja, see. You have died. There's a bar where you can go when you're dead. It's quite nice. Looks like that explosion took the clown car out. Pretty cool. Nice. Laser. Laser. Say 73. Oh, wow. 73 petawatts. 75. The round is not over till they reach CENTCOM. So, let's see. Let's see. All right. 83 petawatts. Not bad. Not bad. Got about a minute left. Got about a minute left. If you want to ever fuck around with an engine or whatever, join early on a, you know, Saturday morning where kids have to go to church and what have you, or Sunday morning, rather, uh, where kids have to go to church, or, uh, if you really want to fuck with an engine, wait till it's, like, right before a school night or something, and, uh, it'll just be old grognards like me running the engine, um, and you can do whatever you want, and it's very, very easy. 109 petawatts, uh-huh. 112. 115. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're getting there. Let's see. 125. Cool. Cool. Now. Uh. 129. All right. That's the end. That's the chime. Let's see. 136. 136. Nice.